one of the things I enjoy doing in Ableton Live is uh, creating my very own instruments. Uh, usually those are drums or drum racks as uh, I am a drummer. So every time I run into some drum samples uh, I usually go like, ooh, I can make a drum rack out of that. And when creating your own instruments you normally start with a um, empty sampler. Or you can use one of the available uh, templates that come with uh, Ableton. But as usual uh, the template available in Ableton Live does not quite suit my needs. The good thing is though that creating your own template is really 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 simple. Because I want to create a template for a um, drum sampler I'll start off with a template that comes with Ableton which is called template drum one shot and I'll just add it to a track in Ableton Live. And just to show you uh, some of the differences between a, a normal sampler and a template. Um, I'll quickly add a sampler and let's compare the two. So looking at the zone in both. So this is the template. Over here this is set to power. Like in the default one it is set to linear. Looking at the filter global tab uh, you'll notice that the volume to velocity is different. Uh, the slopes are different, so switching to the default. You see here it's set to 0, 100, 100. In a drum sampler it's set to 100, 0, 100. And the voices is probably different, I'm not sure. Yeah. And also this one, the re-trigger for a, a drum should be uh, disabled and the loop should be set to trigger. So coming back to the uh, template you'll see that the voices is set to 2, the re-triggering is off and the loop is set to trigger. Okay, so far for the differences between the uh, template and the a default sampler, I'm just gonna remove the sampler for now. And I'm gonna make a few minor changes to the template and then save it again as a, my own template. So minus 12, that's a bit much. I'll usually go minus 6. And for volume velocity, I'll usually pick something between 30 or 40. So I'll pick 30 for now. The decay is set to 60 seconds, which is ridiculously high. So uh, for drums, usually somewhere around 1.5 seconds or 2 seconds uh, is uh, sufficient. I'll go with uh, 2 seconds for now. There we go. Then the release somewhere between 50 and 100 milliseconds uh, is usually okay. So I'll change this to 50. Then the voices. 2 is a bit low. I usually go with 4. And that's about all there is to it. Uh, only thing left to do is just rename it and save it. So quickly rename it. Just drag and drop it inside the templates folder. And there you go. It's all done.